previous lecture we have completed chapter number 4 part 3 exercise 4.4 and 4.5 today we are going to start part 4 exercise 4.6 and discuss about circles so let's begin so before moving to exercise 4.6 we will discuss the following topics what is circle what are the parts of a circle like radius chord diameter circle friends are semicircle sector and segment of the circle so let us start with the first topic of today what is circle you all have learned about circle in your junior classes a circle is a round flat rd shape it has no corners and no edges so now let us learn geometrically a circle is a simple closed curve which is not a polygon polygon is made up of line segments so circle is not a polygon the path of a point moving at the same distance from the fixed point the fixed point is the center of the circle so here i have drawn one circle point a is the fixed point it is called as center of the circle the center of the circle does not lie on the circle so here center of the circle is point a point a will not lie on the circle it will not lie on the boundary next we have radius a line segment that connects the center to a point on the circle is called radius so here you have center point a and here we have drawn a line till b a line segment which we draw from the center that is known as radius aap kahi par bhi line segment draw kariye aapka radius same rahega clear then radius of a circle is always positive radius of a circle is never negative next we have chord a line segment joining any two points of a circle is called chord of a circle so here pq pq line segment is the chord of the circle so here what we are seeing a line segment joining any two points on the circle kahi par bhi agar aapne do points banaye aur line segment draw kari that is known as chord of the circle next diameter a diameter is a chord passing through the center of a circle so here bc is the diameter of the circle with center a it is the longest chord of the circle diameter is the longest chord of the circle as chord is the line segment joining any two points on the circle jab aap circle mein kahi do points banate hain and you join that line segment that is called chord and when a chord is passing through center of the circle that is called diameter of the circle here center is a a chord is passing through the center of the circle that is diameter and ab and ac are the two radii of the circle radii i told you from the center when you draw a line to the circle that is the radius so radii is the plural of radius so r ab is r and ac is r so bc is equal to 2r bc is equal to 2r so diameter is equal to 2 into radius diameter is double of radius next arc an arc is a portion of a circle the arc of a circle is denoted by the symbol so the symbol you can see it is used for an arc so in this circle bc denotes the arc bc of the circle with center a a little portion you can see of a circle which we took this is arc bc arc of a circle is divided into following categories number 1 circumference the whole arc of the circle is called the circumference of the circle the whole arc of the circle this is called circumference of the circle or we can say the distance around a circle distance around a circle or the length of the boundary there are different definitions which we can use length of the boundary the distance around the circle the whole arc of the circle this is called a circumference number 2 semicircle a diameter of a circle divides it into two equal parts each part is a semicircle so here bc is a diameter it divides into two equal parts and each part is a semicircle one half of the whole arc of a circle is also called semicircle one half of the whole arc this is the arc 
So one half of the whole arc is also called semicircle. Next sector, a region in the interior of a circle enclosed by an arc on one side and a pair of radii on other two sides. That is called sector of the circle. So here you can see this region is inside the circle. It has been enclosed by an arc. This is an arc and pair of two radii on the other two sides. That is known as sector. जब आपके एक सर्कल में एक एरिया आर्क है और दो एरियाज आपके रेडियाई हैं, that is the sector. The part containing minor arc is called minor sector. So what is minor arc? Half से कम एरिया अगर occupied है, that is minor arc. और अगर half से ज़्यादा एरिया occupied है, that is major arc. So the part containing minor arc means कम एरिया अगर occupied है, that is the minor sector and the part containing major arc is called major sector means zyada area occupied hai that is major sector next segment a chord of a circle divides its circular region into two parts each part is called segment of the circle agar aap kisi circle ko do parts mein divide karenge each part is called segment of the circle it is not compulsory you have to divide into equal parts अगर आप इक्वल पार्ट के सर्कल को डिवाइड करते हैं दैट इज सेमी सर्कल एंड इफ यू आर डिवाइडिंग अ सर्कुलर रीजन इनटू टू पार्ट्स एनी टू पार्ट्स यू कैन डिवाइड दैट इज नोन एज सेगमेंट ऑफ द सर्कल एंड द पार्ट कंटेनिंग द माइनर आर्क इज कॉल्ड माइनर सेगमेंट ऑक्युपाइंग द लेस एरिया एंड द पार्ट कंटेनिंग द मेजर आर्क इज कॉल्ड मेजर सेगमेंट ऑक्युपाइंग द मोर एरिया सो नाउ लेट अस सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज 4.6 बेस्ड ऑन दीस टॉपिक्स टू सी So now let us start with exercise 4.6. So open a maths NCERT book, page number 84. Question number one: From the figure, identify a part, the center of circle. So here, point O is a fixed point. So the center of circle is O. B part three radii. Radii is the plural form of radius, and a radius is a line segment that connects. Center to a point on the circle. So here center is O. So three radii are O A, O B, and O C. Center point से जब आप line segment draw करते हैं circle में, that is the radii. C part a diameter. A diameter is a chord passing through the center of a circle. So here diameter is line segment A C. As it is passing through the center of the circle, that is point O. D part chord. Chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circle. So chord is line segment ED. Next, two points in the interior. Two points of circle ke under hai. So two points in the interior are O and P. Next, a point in the exterior. So which point is outside the circle? A point in the exterior is Q. G part a sector. A sector is a region in the interior of a circle which is enclosed by an arc on one side and a pair of radii on other two sides. So here AB is an arc on one side and pair of two radii are OA and OB. So a sector is A O B. So this shaded region, this is a sector. H part, a segment. A segment is a chord of a circle which divides its circular region into two parts. So here E S D is a segment that is shaded region. E S D as it divides circular region into two parts. Question number two, A part. Is every diameter of a circle also a chord? Yes, every diameter of a circle is also a chord. As diameter is also called as longest chord. B part is every chord of a circle also a diameter? No, every chord is not a diameter. Question number three: Draw any circle and mark A part its center. 
so here point o is the fixed point the center of the circle is o b part a radius a radius is a line segment that connects center to a point on the circle so here point o is a fixed point center here we have drawn a line segment to the circle oc is a radius c part a diameter so diameter is here a b it is a chord which is passing through the center of a circle d part a sector so here sector is a o c which is enclosed by an arc ac and two radii o a and o c e part a segment a segment is d e so d e is a segment here so segment is a chord of a circle divides circular region into two parts f part a point in its interior so point in its interior is point o g part a point in its exterior so a point in its exterior is point f h part an arc so here ac is an arc question number 4 say true or false a part two diameters of a circle will necessarily intersect it is true two diameters will always intersect each other at the center of the circle b part the center of a circle is always in its interior true the center of a circle will always be in its interior students that's all for today's class i hope you all understood the remarks class so chapter number 4 exercise 4.6 we have completed practice all these questions at home now in next class we'll start with new chapter so stay connected do like share and subscribe the channel take care bye bye